Welcome to Bates Garth School, the fastest growing and most successful school in the local area. I'm Richard Briggs, I've been head teacher here by the time your son or daughter starts in September 2021 for seven years. And my intention is to be here for at least another seven years. It's really important that you know that there is continuity of leadership at Bates Garth when you come to make the kind of big decisions that you'll be contemplating for your children. For me, I love this school and I love this community. And it feels right. I'm about halfway through what we intend to do. We've achieved amazing things already at Bays Garth, but by no means are we finished yet. We have got so much more to do. We are so ambitious for the school and so ambitious for this community. And I hope that you will join us as we progress along our journey. You have got some big decisions to make. I've been there myself. I have four children of my own. I know what it's like to be sitting in your shoes with a child in year six thinking where do I send them to their secondary school. I, um, I know I made some good decisions for my own children and I hope that you will make the same for yours. The good thing for you is you can't really make a bad decision. There are no bad schools around here. You are blessed with a choice of lots of good schools. All I can do is tell you about Baysgarth and what makes us so special. First of all, I want to say we have a unique opportunity this year. For the last three years at Baysgarth, I've been in, a, in a, what I feel is a horrible position where our Year 7's cohort has been full, we've had to turn students away, we've had to say no to families who wanted to send their child to Baysgarth. I don't want to be in that position again. We've worked really, really hard with the local authority to push for the growth of Baysgarth School so that it allows every child who wants to come to our community to be here, whether they live in our, in our catchment or whether they don't live in our catchment. This week sees the opening of our brand new dance studio, a facility I'm sure lots of you will use outside of school as well as inside of school. By half term, we'll have an extended dining room capacity, allowing us to seat far more students for lunchtime. And by next September, we will have a brand new teaching block on site, giving us the capacity and the facility to teach all of the students that want to come here. So this is a unique and a fantastic opportunity for you. It means that everybody who wants to come to get Bays Garth will be guaranteed a place from September. And I'm really, really proud to be able to say that. We are already the fastest growing school in the local area. We've gone from year groups of 120 students to year groups of nearly 220 students in a short space of time. And this is a sign that the community has put its faith in us as a school. And this is because we are the most successful school in the local area. You only need to check out the league tables to know that this is true. Schools use different statistics and schools excel in different things. But the government believes that the most important thing that a school can do is make good progress with our students. Now we've been in the top 10% for this for five years running. We are the most successful school in this area and one of the most successful in the whole Humber region. We outperform most of the outstanding schools, including South Hunsley, including Tolbar, including Healing School. We achieve better results than all of those when it comes to the progress our students make. And as, let's face it, as a parent, that is what's important. It's the progress that a student makes from the time they start at the school in year seven till the time they leave in year 11. And it doesn't matter for our students, it doesn't matter whether they are low ability or incredibly high ability. It doesn't matter whether they have special needs, it doesn't matter whether they are pupil premium students. Every single one of those groups does better here than they do on the average school across the country. In particular, I'd like to draw attention to the fact that our most able students achieve nearly two thirds of a grade better in every single subject than they would do at other schools. That's a tremendous achievement and gives them a fantastic start in, in life. But we believe we're far more than just about exam results. We are definitely more than just a school. We have a very exciting enrichment project. This is actually built into our curriculum. We call it Inspire Time. And it gives our students opportunities to do things other than their mainstream lessons and learn new skills, getting them ready for the world of work outside and after school. We have an incredible trips and visits program where our students go abroad to places like New York, to Africa, to China, to India. We give them opportunities that maybe they will never get again in their lives. 
And I think what I'm really proud of is our transition programme from primary to secondary school, which has won loads of plaudits from the primary schools, from parents and from the local authority in terms of the way we give our students a smooth start and make sure that they are confident and ready to start their secondary school. We're very proud that we are an inclusive school. Yes, we probably exclude more students than any other school, but that's because we have high standards and I will make no excuses for that. It is not fair for any student to disturb another student's learning and we do not tolerate and accept that. But we do provide an incredible amount of support for students who do find school difficult and who struggle. That's wrapped up in our tutor system, in our house system and even in our own alternative provision on site. This passion to give the best for every student who comes through our doors is what drives us forward. Now obviously we can't have a traditional open evening this year but I hope that over the next 10 days through some of the activities that we'll be putting online you will get a really good flavour of what it's like to be at Baysgarth. Lots of departments will be producing different activities for the students to do and if you want to speak to any of us as senior leaders we will be offering that opportunity too. There will be slots that you can book into either at your local primary school or here at Baysgarth where using the latest COVID-19 precautions you will be able to speak to a senior member of staff and ask us any questions you want or tell us anything specific about your particular son or daughter. And then at the end of this 10 days there'll be a live frequently asked questions sort of question and answer session really with parents so that anything that hasn't been answered in this time you will have the opportunity to ask that at the end of the session. So please get in touch, enjoy the next 10 days and thank you for listening.